Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can build out at sea the cheap way. Now this requires you to build rock walls as single lines to work as pillars for the custom floor. If cannibals or mutants bug out and go into the water, they may be able to reach your structure. Though this is very rare, so build it pretty far away from the land. But this can be overcome by simply turning off building damage. I recommend you build a houseboat and put a few rock holders on it. That way you have access to the rocks while you're in the water. I'm doing this on creative mode, so I wasn't needing it. I don't recommend you use a small raft for this, as when you place structures on top of a small raft, it makes it very difficult to navigate. As you can see here, it is very easy to tip it over. Though if you do decide to do this, if it flips over, just go into the water and access it from underneath. Also be careful of sharks when you're doing this. They can mess you up pretty bad. Boats are safe though. This is another good reason to have a boat, is that you can jump on it if they start chasing you. Now what I do first, and I do this with nearly every structure I build, I build a custom platform to give an outline of where I want to build. I recommend you do this with nearly all your building, because it gives you a good indicator of where to build. This structure I'm building is quite small, so a custom platform of this size would only use 100 logs, so it's not too bad. Though if you wanted to build big massive structures in the middle of the sea, it would be much more cost effective to do it with rock walls. Once that's done, select a rock wall and place it on the first pillar. Try and get it straight if you want, it doesn't really matter. It will line up the same. You can use the reef to sometimes elevate the rock walls. Once you place the first one, you have to jump out of the water to select the next one. You can't use control, it won't let you. Then you line it up with the rock wall and you press C and it should appear on top. And then you just build it. This is really sneaky doing it this way, as it only costs two rocks per section. This makes it cheap, but also very weak. And you do all four corners. This is what's good about the custom platform, as I know exactly where to build and I should get a pretty accurate and straight structure. Where I'm building, there is a shark around here so I am being a bit careful not to attract attention. You can do this build on land, though it is more risky. How the structure would be destroyed, so the first point you attach the custom floor to, that pillar is what they need to destroy to take down the entire structure. You can actually remove the other pillars if you want to, just don't remove the first pillar that you attach the custom floor to. That will bring down the structure. I hope that makes sense. Once you've placed all the rock walls, and the rock walls are appearing out of the water, it does not matter if the rock walls are at different heights. It will still work the same. If the height difference is too much, you will have issues. Select the custom floor and press C. This is so I can choose exactly where I want it to go. And then I drag it around to each corner. Pick the rock wall that you want the height to be, as they will all be different heights. I also have my ocean quality on flat, so the water won't come up underneath. It doesn't matter what the ocean quality is, it just depends if you want water coming through the bottom of your floors. This is up to you entirely. When placing custom floors like this, test doing it both ways, as in the planks going one way and planks going the other way. They might be a different price, or the look might be different, it depends what you want to do. The second round of custom floors I did here was actually one log cheaper, and it also appears to be more straight. Once you're happy with the design, place it and build it. Then you can start decorating. I'm going to turn this into a bit of a fishing sort of hut thing, I think. I don't know, it's what came to mind being at sea next to the yacht. This little spot's helpful as you can use the yacht to grab rope and other supplies from it whenever you want. It's also got a bed in it, so it's somewhere to sleep while you're building all this anyway. I'm just making this one two stories. Just playing around with a few mechanics. Building these stairs was very difficult. <laughs> So I'll poking through the sides. Now this can be quite tedious building with this method, but it is very cheap. Keep in mind when building custom roofs, the more angles you have, the more expensive it will be. For every log you see on a roof, you have to pay for it, no matter how short it is. Even if it's a foot long, it will cost one log. Built food racks, put fish on it to give it that fishing look. Built water collectors, built a houseboat. Houseboat tried to run away, so I tied it down put log holders on it and I filled it up and done. So there you go. 
I don't recommend you use custom walls as it is too hard to get the logs underneath the water. Also, when you press C, one pole will actually cost five logs. Unless you manually do it, which is really tedious, stick to rock walls. They're cheaper, faster, and easier. Anyway, if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.